Madhuban, the name really means a land of honey. There were many bees here. And when Kunban Bhai gave this place to us as an offering, I think the concentration has been to make it worthy of the responsibility which was given by Mother. Such a beautiful ashram um, in the middle of the mountains and it's just so peaceful and it gives you this place to just really connect to Mother Nature and be able to allow yourself to process through whatever is going, going on, whether you're on a yoga yatra or a pilgrimage or some seva work and just such a beautiful place to come in contact with Mother Nature. I mean, I think it speaks for itself. It's completely stunning and beautiful with flowers and plants everywhere and the accommodations are, are quite nice. Um, harmony is getting built. More harmony is needed. The mother talked about the flowers so much and she had names for them and the divinity of them and I'm just, I so relate to that and I love being here in the mountains and it, it's just so special. And at this ashram it's very, very, very beautiful and tranquil and I'm very happy, I feel blessed to have the experience of being here. So if you ask me, what is Madhuban? Madhuban is Mother's grace. Madhuban is a place for us to learn. Madhuban is where we explore ourselves beyond the philosophy and with the philosophy. Madhuban is so beautiful. It's sweet. It's easy to stay here. Everything is run really beautifully and I'm so grateful for the time. Well, I would say the highlight of my experience has been being in this beautiful ashram. It, it, it's been an exquisite experience. Uh, the beauty here, the flowers, the love that I feel. Um, I was not familiar at all with Mother and Sri Aurobindo, and it, it, this, this has just been perfect to get to know that. But right now that Madhuban is an excellent place for people who are new on their spiritual path. If you want to learn about being in an ashram, living in an ashram, for, for, to be shown how to be in an ashram, this is a wonderful place. It's very forward thinking, like one step looking forward into the future of where spirituality is taking us in social realms of education and healthcare and seva service. But it also has a foot in the history of of people living in community in a village-like setting and relying on each other in a simple, simple life. And Madhuban belongs to all. All those who seek to grow. Delhi Ashram added its own energy with Tara Didi. And I always remember that one is a worker here. And Madhuban will go on beyond all of us because it is the divine's foothold. And it all started with my getting to meet Tara Didi, which opened my heart just by meeting her. It was perfect. Uh, and this place being so absolutely well taken care of, beautiful gardens and where it's placed and its views over the valley, it is uh, uh, spectacular. It's been lovely. I love the flowers. It's just uh, so peaceful to walk every morning. And the meditation room is bomb. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just being able to place all these beautiful trees in the mountains is very peaceful. We follow a simple path of surrender. But in that, we also have a lot of karma yoga. So all the people who work here are volunteers. There is work in different departments which have been built. There is the kitchen with the bakery. There is the rooms which require a lot of housekeeping for the sadhaks who come for spiritual retreats. There are the magnificent gardens. Because Taradidi grew up with the mother collecting flowers and mother gave spiritual names to flowers. I think the energy for the flowers was the one focus 
out of the many that Tara Didi brought to Madhuban. And we've just followed. So we have the gardens. And the gardens reflect our aspirations for the divine. Uh, happiness is based on our inner experience, not necessarily our outer experience. All spiritualities, um, it's very peaceful and welcoming and interesting. Um, culture, architecture, everything about this place is beautiful. You know, I've had some thoughts since I've been here. I've thought about writers. This is a great place to be creative or an artist, to come write a book or to draw or to contemplate. Meditators, yogis. Um, really anybody. I'm thinking about bringing my son here it's for him and I to come do some seva works. The outer experience here is staggering. It, it is a reflection of, of the inner beauty. Inner beauty, outer beauty, everything is happening. It's like one through line is happening here at Madhuban and I'm so grateful. Just to say thank you to so many friends from all over the world who have given us these beautiful flowers whenever they come. I think when they come here, they bring us bulbs. And when we travel all the way to other countries, it's the friends who've given us all these bulbs. It's a sense of gratitude for the blooms in Madhuban. Thank you. Thank you so much. And let Madhuban always have your love.